Today, we are going to make sense of problems by using the three read strategy to solve real world problems involving analyzing and categorizing two dimensional shapes. The three read strategy involves five steps to help you make sense of and solve problems. Step one, read to make sense. Step two, read for details. Step three, read to represent. Step four, solve the problem. And step five, check your work. This organizer can be used to help you organize your thinking. For step one, we are going to read to make sense of the problem. While we read, we need to find out what the problem is about, think about what is happening in the problem, try to describe the problem in our own words, and think about what questions we might have. Okay, so for the first read, it says, the Abad family is looking for ceramic tiles that are some inches long and some inches tall. Two available styles in that size are shown below. So I know that the Abad family is looking for ceramic tiles. I also know that they have certain dimensions that we really don't know yet. So we know that they are some inches long and some inches tall. We also know that there are two available styles in that size, and they are shown in this picture below. While I was reading, here's what I imagined. Two tiles that have the same length, and the same height. But right now, we don't know what those measurements are, but we do know what the tiles look like. Now, we are going to read a second time. So this time we are reading for details. While we are reading, we should think about what do the numbers represent? What type of problem is this? Is there vocabulary, charts, or graphs that might give me more information? I can also put stars next to information I understand, and I could put question marks next to information I may need to know more about. So, the Abad family is looking for ceramic tiles that are six inches long and three inches tall. Two available st styles in that size are shown below. Classify the tiles based on the properties of two-dimensional figures. You can use the Venn diagram for the classification of quadrilaterals to help. Explain how the two styles of the tile are the same and how they are different. So now that I've read a second time, I now know that the tiles are six inches long and three inches tall. And that is something that I think we should start may be helpful for classifying our quadrilaterals. I also now know that I need to find out how the quadrilaterals are the same and how they are different. From the second read, I now know that the tiles are six inches long, and I'm going to use IN as my abbreviation for inches, and three inches tall. How might this information be helpful to solve the problem? Now for the third read. While we are reading, we want to think about how we use the information in the problem to represent the problem with the drawing. What operations will we use? What do we know about the information? We also need to label the information that we know. So, the above family is looking for ceramic tiles that are six inches long and three inches tall. Two available styles in that size are shown below. Classify the tiles based on properties of two dimensional figures. You can use the Venn diagram for the classification of quadrilaterals to help. Explain how the two styles of the tile are the same and how they are different.
So now that I have more information here, I can use the drawings to help me explain how they are the same and how they are different. Well, the first thing that's the same to me is that they all have, they both have four sides. So they're quadrilaterals, we know that they have one, two, three, four sides. And then again, one, two, three, four sides. We also know that they have two sides that are the same length. So I know that it is six inches long. and three inches tall. I also see that they have four angles, but the angles are a little different. The quadrilateral on the left has four right angles. where the quadrilateral on the right has two acute angles and two obtuse angles. Step four, solve the problem. So here we want to be accurate and precise Follow the directions in the problem and make sure we complete all the parts of the problem. We're going to write equations and expressions, explanations or justifications when asked. And we wanna make sure that we're using the correct math vocabulary, symbols and numbers. Now we are going to solve the problem. I placed the Venn diagram for the classification of quadrilaterals in the corner to help us. Through reading the problem and looking at the tiles, I found that there were some similarities and some differences. I know that the two tiles are quadrilaterals because they have four sides and four angles. I also know that they are trapezoids because they have at least one pair of parallel sides. I know that they are parallelograms because they also have two pairs of parallel sides. Now here's where we find a difference. One of our quadrilaterals has four right angles and the opposite sides are congruent which would make this first quadrilateral a rectangle. So based on our quadrilateral Venn diagram, I know that the most specific name for tile one would be a rectangle. For the second tile, the most specific name would be a parallelogram. So here, we want to make sure that we reread the problem and read our answer. Do we use the information to part from the problem to find the answer? Does the answer make sense? Did we answer all parts of the problem? Now we are going to read the problem one more time to make sure that we have solved all the parts of this problem. The Abad family is looking for ceramic tiles that are six inches long and three inches tall. Two available styles in that size are shown below. Classify the tiles based on the properties of two-dimensional figures. You can use the Venn diagram for the classification of quadrilaterals to help. Explain how the two styles of the tile are the same and how they are different.
After reading the problem again, I know that there are two things that I need to do to solve this problem. The first thing that I need to do is classify the tiles based on the properties of two-dimensional figures. The second thing I need to do is explain how the two styles of the tile are the same and how they are different. In our previous step, we were able to classify the tiles based on their properties. The first tile we found was a rectangle. The second tile we found was a parallelogram. Now, I was able to classify, but I forgot the second part of the problem. I didn't explain how the two styles of the tile are the same and how they are different. So I could say both tiles have four angles. Tile one has four right angles. Tile two has two acute angles and two obtuse angles. The most specific name for tile one is a rectangle. And the most specific name for tile two is a parallelogram. Now I have solved both parts of my problem. Now it's your turn to try. Use the three reach strategy and the organizer to help you solve the next tier of this tiered task. Good luck! Well, boys and girls, that's it from us for this week. And on behalf of your friends here at BCPS Math, we want you to know that you are so loved, that you are so important, and that you hold the future in your hands. So stay safe, be kind, and do the math.